Who knew that a series of short stories with some of them including Bigfoot and a dog point of view chapter would actually expand how you think about characters in a universe? Welcome to Sanders Review. My name is Caleb. I am a teacher, educator, uh, love history, love nerdy stories, all those things. And today I want to talk about a short story collection that expanded how I felt about a existing series and that is the book Brief Cases by Jim Butcher, a series of short stories that take place throughout the entirety of the series he's written so far. A lot of people really love The Dresden Files and I want to do a video at some point on my thoughts on The Dresden Files and Harry Dresden who is an amazing character and I can't wait to see where Jim Butcher goes with Harry Dresden. But in this book, this series of short stories, he takes a variety of sequences and does a great job of tying them into these in-between phases between different books in his existing series. Now, if you know Harry Dresden, he's the wizard in Chicago who's listed in the Yellow Pages that people come to if there's anything supernatural going on, who gets in situations because wizards can't be around electronics and technology, and he has his car that's the old blue beetle that's no longer blue that has a floorboards out of wood. He has a skull with an intelligent spirit locked inside of it. He has uh, Murph with the, the Chicago PD on his case. He has uh, these friends who are werewolves. He has all these stories that take place and these short stories tie in elements and characters in a very unique and fun way. Uh, a couple of the short stories that takes place, you see, I won't give any of the the plot of these short stories away or the resolutions, but you have a series of short stories where uh, three of them where Jim Butcher, he takes Harry into his meeting of river shoulders, uh, strength in his shoulders like a river, uh, Bigfoot, <laughs> Sasquatch that you see in a couple of other major books that he has a big role to play. And you see Harry getting to know him and you get to know Bigfoot's son, we'll just say, and the variety of situations that Harry gets to step into to try to help not only Bigfoot's son, it helps Harry a little bit and also in a way helps uh, River Shoulders be able to expand and grow. At least you feel that by the end of the trilogy of stories that are scattered throughout this Brief Cases book. You have a few other really interesting ones that you see. Uh, one is called Jury Duty where you have Harry actually get caught up in jury duty for the first time. And it starts off with me like, they found me, they finally gave me jury duty. And it turns out that there's some twists along the way where that wasn't an accident that he got chosen for jury duty. And you have uh, an expansion of his role in Chicago and around the different elements of the city, uh, specifically the White Court and uh, Baron Marcone with all of that. Which Baron Marcone, there's also a short story that has uh, Gentleman John Marcone as the Baron of Chicago, part of the Accords and the, uh, the Council not the council, but the accords where he's in recognized power in the city. You have from his point of view as the Fulmore come and they try to track down Justine, if you know her character in relationship with Thomas, who is Harry's half brother. And you have a variety of anecdotes within that story where you're seeing ties to other stories with uh, Marcone and his henchman Hendrix and his guard guard, so to speak. And a interesting element that I'm going to be curious if it comes to play later on again with we'll just say the way in which Marcone gets out of the situation they find himself in and if that relates to Harry at all in future books more so. Still me making this video last night completely forgot to mention that you have two entire short stories that are the first days of Butters as a Knight of the Cross and of Molly as the Winter Lady, which are really interesting to see their mindsets going into these new positions that they've taken. And those are amazing chapters, amazing short stories that you definitely want to check out to expand and explore these characters in their internal voices. And the short story that really takes the cake for me that made me really want to do this quick video is the final short story, which is called Day at the Zoo. And it follows Harry taking his daughter and uh, and Mouse, <laughs> who is not a mouse, in fact being a food dog, Temple Guardian, and them just going with for a day to the zoo. And you have Harry's POV for the first third, and what he does is he's trying to engage with and say, how do I become a father 
to my daughter who I have just rescued re if recently from the quarter red vampires and everything. And so you have his POV trying to be a father and learning how to be that. You then jump to his daughter's POV and her perspective and how she views her father and what she's trying to do and her skills and kind of some of the things that she is going to be able to in future books I think have a hand in and then finally you jump to Mouse's point of view and let's just say Mouse's point of view is something that Jim Butcher does really really well if you've ever read Jim Butcher his Cinder Spires books which are really good I'm going to review those at some point and he does animal point of views and animal voices and animal motivations in a really unique way that makes you believe them and buy into them and understand not only these animal characters but the human characters that are alongside of them and mouse's point of view is so sweet is so sentimental but so powerful and his observations on harry and his daughter uh, are very very interesting very insightful very innocent in some ways, but just so powerful. I, you just have to read it. And if you like Harry Dresden, or, yes, if you like Harry Dresden, if you like Jim Butcher's Dresden Files, you have to pick up these short stories on brief cases. So that's it for today. Just a quick little video, just highlighting this book that I would probably give. Some stories are down in the C tier, I would say, like 3.5 C tier. Some stories are five out of five, A plus. And so overall, I would give briefcases a B plus, A minus rating that you have to go read if you like the Dresden Files. So thank you so much for watching this. Have a wonderful day. If you like some of the things I talk about, check out these videos up here. God bless, take care, go read some good stories. Bye-bye.